What's going on guys, it's Nathan and welcome to a last question mark challenge on the Mexico GP and we are going to be using Lewis Hamilton so obviously it's the race today when I'm recording this so obviously in here the commentator I'll just go through the grid for you pretty quickly so it's Vettel on pole with Verstappen on second and then it's Bottas in third, Albon in fourth Leclerc fifth, Perez sixth, Sainz seventh, Ricardo eighth, Norris ninth, Grosjean tenth, Kvyat eleventh, Giovinazzi twelfth, Hulkenberg is thirteenth, followed by Magnussen, that is then Reagan and Gasly, then Stroll and George Russell, then Robert Kubica, and obviously Lewis Hamilton at the back, who is me. So let's get straight into the action. So we are now on the grid. I'll sh I've just shown you my strategy here, which is I'm going to go medium to soft. So, four lights, five red lights, and we are underway. So obviously we're underway now. I was a tra terrible start, even though the patches, which just came out a few days ago, is meant to stop that from happening. As we go into turn one, Russell is pull to the left so it leaves us a massive gap which we dive under. I have to take the grass a bit to avoid any collisions. We we'll try to work it away around Magnuson doesn't work so we're just slotting behind him and get a slingshot along the back back straight which is then pulling us alongside Kvyat. And as we try to dive bomb, he dives bombs us almost hits Giovinazzi and has to cut over the grass and we do there just in case I'm understeered into him. And as we go into the double right hander, we'll get the job done past them. So as we now approach Giovinazzi and a big dive from us down there, hit our front wing off Grosjean, but it's able to do so, we'll just keep using it. So as we come through the left, right, left, right, we follow Giovinazzi through, trying to see if we can work our way past into the stadium sections. But Hulkenberg tries it around our outside, but we stop him there. So as we come through the stadium section, there's no way like, close to Giovinazzi to try and get past. So we're going to have to try and get him down this main street, which I don't think we'll be able to do because he's that far ahead. We'll just have to focus on defending from Hulkenberg. So Hulkenberg comes behind us, tries to go around the outside. We'll block that, lovely, so parks our car, lovely. Catches up with Giovinazzi as well, as we almost go into the back of him. Just trying to keep him in the clean air, as the tyres will go away if we just stay behind him through all the corners. So as we pick up speed along the straight, we try and get him around the outside. Which he tries to defend, but we just have like a lot more grip around the outside compared to the Alfa Romeo. So as we get past him there, our next... Like person to try and get past is Grosjean. So as Grosjean comes up and we try to catch him, I will just explain I've got another video coming out in the next few days. Um, yeah, so there'll be a video out. It's going to be an F1 career mode uh, part two, which I've just done, which I've just recorded, but I haven't done. So as we come through the stadium section, there's a massive three-way battle. We dive down the inside after Grosjean was held up quite a lot there. So obviously Ricardo's now in front of us, and we stay behind him for the next lap. So if we skip forward to then, as you can see, we are now right up the back of him a lap later, going into the same section as we dive down the inside. Very dangerous move, but we pull it off lovely. And Norris is now in front of us. Lando, one of my favourites. Um, so as we try and catch up Lando, Ricardo has now dropping behind us, and obviously the the, um, the top end speed of the Mercedes is not that good, but it is also very good at the same time. So we can pull away from Ricardo, but get a bit closer to Norris, but not too much. So as Ricardo tries to dive down the inside, we block that off, lovely. And we now will catch up with Norris to the bit break in sections. Um, so as Norris pulls away from us a bit, which is pretty annoying, 
Um, because I've just lost all that. Uh, I've just lost all that momentum I've lost through the corners, and as we catch him up through sector two, is where the Mercedes is probably the best because the quick are like the good at like quick little cuts of the corners and everything, so like they can get a lot of speed going through corners. So as we catch up the back of Norris, um. We just try and work where we're past, but we understay through that corner pretty heavily and lose all the ground we just made up. So obviously, and now we come through the stadium section, we have no option to try and get past them, so we might have to wait a bit longer. Which is very annoying, because I need to get up closer to the Ferraris, Mercedes and all them. So as we then come through uh, the... The first, the bleh, there's a yellow flag, which is fallen. I'll just say yellow flag, oh, it's gone green, never mind. No, there's a yellow flag because someone, oh my god, there's a safety car. My god, this never happens in F1. What the hell's happened? Oh my god, what's gone on there then? There's like three cars just. Vettel's in the wall, Stroll hit him. How have I got an illegal overtake on Verstappen? Okay, I've got to let him pass. Go pass for God's sake, Verstappen. So as Verstappen's now got past him because I let her pass him. So I think, and even though I'm on the major, I could go a lot longer. I'm gonna pit the end of this lap to just try and get soft, so I don't fall back when I do eventually pit, because because the, cause the uh, grid will all be bunched up together, and I'll just fall further back than I was gonna when I put it normally. So as we come into the pit, I hit the bullard. <laughs> so as we come in. Verstappen is ahead of us, followed by one of the Ferraris, I think it was. So as, yeah, five is in front of us, so as we get out, we should get out. If we jump, we've jumped both, we've jumped Verstappen and the Ferrari, I think it was Leclerc, in the pit stop. So that was look, that was great work by the team and good decision by me, because they, they got held up by all the people going past. And obviously the people who stayed out won't have pitted yet. So that means I and I've got while well, I'm on fresh rubber, I can easily get past them. And obviously, the safety car will be out for about two, three laps because that's the usual it's out for. So there will be. So as we try and catch up the Kibitza, because we have to catch the safety car queue. Um, so we're catching them up, just trying to catch the safety car queue. Okay, so we've caught it up apparently, even though we're not up the back of them. So as we then end, as we go to the end of the safety car, which I've just skipped to, because I don't want to see you watching. We try and like just like scare Cupid by going up the side of him, but like don't pass him obviously. As we enter the stadium section, I don't know who's leading, who's leading. Gasly is leading. He's the only time he's ever led an F1 race. So. He goes when Cupid is at the worst in mid apex, and we're entering, so we get the speed around the outside out, uh, as we go into the corner. So we get a lot of great exit speed compared to the cars behind us and in front of us. So as you can see, we are now coming right up the back of Cupid, trying to work our way past him. He defends the inside line as you would expect the AI to do. Oh, he tries to defend there, but we sweep, sweep round the outside and get past him. And now Sykes is now ahead of us, and we've got to try and work our way past him. But this looks like dif this might be a difficult pass because he's trying to battle with Russell as well. As I look down the inside, but don't go for it. As you can see, I did damage the front wing, and it is still damaged, but it's okay. As I touch Sykes' rear end, but um, yeah, it's okay. So as we come through the left, right, whatever it is, turn 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12. Uh, sweeping corners. We're trying to like. Keep Sorry about that. Um, I missed it because I accidentally try to split the clip to show when I'm just getting past them, but I accidentally missed it and I accidentally deleted it. So I've just had to skip to here. But we did get past them cleanly. And as you can see, Albon's just peeled away into the pits, and we come through. So as we come through, as you can see, there's a fault with the DRS system. So what happens in that is, what happened is, is that I can't open it, but it doesn't matter anyway because I am now right behind, I'm in the lead, so it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, Leclerc, Leclerc and Albon's now got past side two, was in second, slash third before Albon pitted. So as we 
come through the final lap um, I'll just cut the rest out because it's just me driving around Mexico and I don't really think you'll want to watch me do that so as we now come through the final corners I am quite far ahead of Leclerc who's nowhere to be seen as you can see I am sliding all over the place because the tyres have gone off so badly so I'm just like skidding everywhere trying to keep it under control as we come through the last corner the last stadium section as you can see the uh, the like confetti will start flying up because it's the final lap as I come through the final corner from last to ended up winning the race at Mexico and if Hamilton does does this in the real race and it happens like this he will be world champion later in the day so I'm just gonna let you watch like this area where it shows like the uh, confetti and stuff so I'll be quiet from here till when I do the outro Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. So that will be the end of this video, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. See you, boy.